Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some rain showers across the region this morning. I continue to see that through the morning hours into the early afternoon hours today. We'll see temperatures dropping in from the lower 50s into the 40s today. So it'll be a chilly day across the region. We'll see those winds pick up after this front that's giving us the rainfall moves through this evening. And we'll see some uh, colder conditions for our Tuesday and for our Wednesday before we see a uh, a nice day for Thanksgiving. Looks like temperatures will be in the mid-50s with the dry conditions across the Mid-Atlantic region. So taking a look at our sounding from this morning, freezing level at 7,900 feet. Winds out of the uh, west-southwest uh, to southwest throughout the column this morning and increasing up to 38 knots at 9,000 feet. Then continuing to increase up to 72 knots at 25,000 feet this morning. Taking a look at our current surface analysis, we have an area of uh, or a frontal boundary moving through the region with an area of low pressure well north of that across the uh, Canadian Maritimes. It's going to continue to move over that region. We'll have this cold front sweep through today, and that'll give us those rain showers, and then we'll have Canadian high pressure built in behind that for uh, cold conditions for Tuesday. So taking a look at our on current satellite imagery, you can see we do have a good amount of cloud cover across the region this morning. Not seeing much low-level cloud cover as of yet. Uh, still expecting a chance of that low-level cloud cover building in, but most of the clouds are around 7,000 feet this morning. Taking a look at our radar imagery, you can see that rainfall across the region. That's going to be through the area and continuing most likely through the early afternoon hours. And taking a look at the model for today, here's 10 o'clock and then noon, and then looking at 1 and then 2, and then moving on to about 4 o'clock this afternoon. You see that rainfall moving off the coast after there, thereafter and into the evening hours, just seeing some cloud cover uh, lingering over the area. And then for Tuesday, you're going to see some uh, cloud cover move in for anywhere from mostly sunny to partly cloudy conditions in the afternoon hours. And we'll see that cloud cover uh, mainly develop during the afternoon hours on Tuesday. And taking a look at our European model, see that cold front move through today, colder temperatures for tomorrow. And then for Wednesday, we'll see high pressure overhead. That'll give us uh, some moderating temperatures, light winds. And then for our Thursday, our Thanksgiving, looks like we'll have good conditions ahead of a cold front that's going to move through uh, Thursday night into Friday, giving us some rain showers, and we'll see some colder conditions for Friday and for Saturday. Continuing into Sunday, looks like we have some colder conditions across the region. So taking a look at our risk chart for day, rain chances are going to occur today into this afternoon with a near 100% chance of rainfall. We'll see those winds increasing this evening into the overnight hours with the wind advisory possible, mainly after about 7 o'clock this evening, or 1900 local, and then thereafter, and moving into the early overnight hours. And we'll see those winds die off slightly during the overnight hours. So, you should see that wind advisory. We do have to issue one, uh, get canceled overnight, and then we'll see winds gusting again by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning at uh, 9 to 14 knots out of the northwest, gusting to 22 knots. Our high has already occurred this morning at 54. We'll see this temperature continue to drop in the 40s, and we'll see temperatures around freezing tomorrow morning. Our wind chills will also be between 25 and 30 degrees tomorrow morning, so if you are outside doing work, make sure you do prepare for those colder temperatures. For our 24-hour terminal forecast, haven't seen that little of a cloud cover building yet. Models still indicate it should build in uh, later this morning in the afternoon hour, so expecting ceilings anywhere from about uh, 700 to 1,000 feet. Uh, less confidence that's going to occur uh, comparatively to this morning as it hasn't built in, uh, but should see that rainfall in the region. Uh, regardless. And then after about 1400 local, should just see a slight chance of some rain showers till 1600 local. We'll see this sky is clear out overnight with just some serious cloudiness continuing across the region for the overnight hours with uh, mostly sunny skies by tomorrow morning. Our tides are currently normal. I'm looking at Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday, mostly sunny to partly cloudy, breezy and cold, high of 44. Tuesday night, mostly clear and cold, low of 27. And for Wednesday, mostly sunny to partly cloudy and chilly, high of 47 degrees. We'll see those winds gusting near 25 knots on Tuesday, and then green charts across the board for Tuesday night and Wednesday. So looking at our next seven days, we'll see 54 degrees today, as I mentioned, this morning's high, and then dropping in the 40s for Tuesday and Wednesday for highs. A hard freeze for Wednesday morning at 27, and we'll see temperatures around freezing for the morning of Thanksgiving, and we'll see a high around 57 degrees for our Thanksgiving on Thursday. Friday and Saturday, we'll see temperatures once again uh, chilly to cold, continuing to Sunday, 
Uh, we'll see a.m. rain showers on Friday, most likely pre-dawn hour showers, but uh, could see those linger uh, just after dawn on Friday. It'll be breezy Friday afternoon as well, and we'll see those wind chills in the lower 40s to upper 30s for Friday. Uh, we'll see wind chills in the 30s for Saturday and continued for Sunday. Have additional disturbance moving through Sunday night into Monday, possibly giving us a chance of uh, some sprinkles or even a possibility of a flurry especially north of our area um, for Sunday night and Monday with the disturbance moving through in the colder air mass in place. But uh, right now that doesn't look likely and only having a 10% chance of that occurring regardless. Well, I hope everybody has a great day today and we'll be back tomorrow morning at 15 at 10 a.m.